Hey y'all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at the Garifi Smart Laser Engraving Machine. Now, it's not the first time that we've seen a laser engraver, but this one is really the modernized 2020 version of a laser engraver because finally, instead of using ports like micro USB or mini USB, it's using USB Type-C for power and data, so the latest standard in terms of connectivity. And finally, what makes it smart is it also has built-in Bluetooth, which means you can connect it wirelessly to your smartphone or tablet to send over over any images that you want to engrave on objects like wood or cases, plastic, anything like that to add a more decorative and personalized touch. Of course, this one can still be used as a wired laser engraver. You can still install the software that they give you on your computer, Windows or Mac, but you also get that wireless app for both iOS and Android. Here's a list of different objects that it can cut through. Uh, metal will also be a little tough on this model though. The engraving depth, maximum of two millimeters in terms of how deep you can get into the wood or surface, and it can last for up to 10,000 hours uh, for the laser head, which they claim is actually imported from Germany. The laser head can be detached as well, in addition to replaced if it breaks in the future. There's also a built-in fan, just like normal, to dissipate the heat. And there's also some sample materials that they also give you, including some wood blocks, uh, different felt materials to get you started to try and test things out and make some DIY projects with. In fact, here is the accessories. We have a quick user manual that also documents the QR code for scanning the companion app. And then here is the aluminum plate that you can put underneath if you want to you know, prevent the bottom surface of a desk, for example, from getting cut or engraved. Ancient safety goggles here for your eyes. And we also get the sample materials. Um, it includes some different types of parchment papers as well as felt papers. So these are going to be like softer cloth materials that you can try carving into and adjusting the focus and also some wood blocks that they also give you. Plus they also give you a little box that's filled with other stuff like some wood blocks or cubes that you can use to make your own dice for example and carve something custom on each, each side. So it's definitely the most amount of extra accessory materials I've ever seen bundled with a laser engraver. The other ones in the past basically didn't give us anything so it's nice to have this assortment. We also have a standard type c cable and there's also a standard ac adapter that it is using a round plug if you don't want to use the type c now if we take a closer look at the laser engraver itself we have a few panels here that are also shielded to be green to prevent any damage on your eyes if you're just looking directly at it and then on the very side here we do have the assortment of ports type c here this one is for power this one here is for data or you can use the proprietary round plug and then on the very top here we do have a few kind of led lights that will tell you the status when it's doing a laser carve if you're connected using Bluetooth or not, so a few quick indication lights. And then on the base, you can see this is what the laser head is like. For the first time when you're taking it out of the box, what you'll want to do is also remove this little sticker here. It can then kind of move on the axes here, controlled by the app, when it's doing a carving. I like the fact that it doesn't have a completely closed bottom, which means that you can technically carve onto a wood table, for instance, or objects which are larger. Before we take a closer look at the app, I also want to mention one more smart feature of this model that's new that I never saw before, is it actually has a built-in gravity sensor or accelerometer. So if it detects that you're actually taking the laser engraver up or if you're moving it or if it falls off of a table, it will automatically shut down the laser head to prevent it from causing damage or carving on something else accidentally that we didn't see on the previous models. So when connected to power, we can see the laser head immediately turn onto life. We have to first focus the laser beam in order for it to carve effectively onto your surface. If the laser beam isn't in focus, if the light is scattered, it means that all of the energy isn't pointed at this one dot and as a result, Result, it won't be enough power to carve into the surface. Here we can see a little dial on the edge here. You can just rotate this with your fingers to kind of make the light more diffuse, more in focus or out of focus just by twisting it. And once you do that effectively, get the dot to be as small and concentrated as possible. That means you're basically ready to go and just uh, start to carve. So here on our companion application, opening up the mini laser uh, in Carver tells you again the status lights up top and what that corresponds to afterwards we can start to share an image over. There's also a manual library of sample images that they provide just as a quick demo and different types of kind of objects and logos that you can find directly to try and print out uh, just for testing purposes for example. One thing I want to point out is the more darker kind of shades that you see the longer the print time will take. That's something that we've learned from our previous laser engravers so if you have an object that has just an outline 
outline, for instance, all it needs to do is to scorch kind of a outline of the object, and this print will take just a few minutes, versus if it's a blackened background, an inverted color, it has to go through line by line to color and etch that through the material. So something like this will take maybe two or three times the time to complete. Tapping on whiteboard also allows you to print out text, so you can type it in and then print that onto something. And there's also QR codes and barcodes that you can even print out. Say I really like this uh, image of the ocean and the sun, I can also adjust the positioning to make sure it's aligned properly on the board, uh, to center it or move it along, and I can also do things like uh, make the text uh, smaller or larger just by cropping it. You can also enter the height directly by typing in the measurements if you want to get more precise. Make sure your Bluetooth is turned on with your phone, and then you can tap on the scan key here, and it will then find the blue laser, and you can tap on it here to connect. The picture will then be sent over using Bluetooth to the uh, laser engraver here, as you can see, and it will start to kind of process, align itself, and then start to begin the print uh, in a moment. So the sending the image over is actually relatively quick, only takes about a few seconds, which is pretty good. Uh, from here we can configure things like what material we're using that will help it to change the amount of uh, intensity for the laser beam, the amount of energy it's using. Once we are satisfied, we can tap on save, and our kind of engraving will then begin, as we can see there in the background. Now during the entire process, as long as you're connected using Bluetooth, the printer here will also share over to the app how much percentage is remaining in the activity. So we're at 2%, so this entire print here will probably take us a few more minutes to finish, although I don't really see an estimated time remaining on this app right now. I think that would be nice to see. And right now when the laser is activated, that's why you don't want to look directly at it, but you can see it's working pretty well in terms of really does make a very noticeable line. By the way, the safety goggles kind of looks like this when you're wearing it. It really does diffuse the light. All right, so we're done with this print here, and it took about eight to 10 minutes to completely finish, but you can see that the effect was pretty good. Just as a first time print, you can see that the uh, overall kind of imprint, we get a nice amount of detail from the ripples of the wave. Even if the screen of your phone is turned off, it will still be connected using Bluetooth and it's technically still running in the background. So you don't have to worry about your device needing to be uh, turned on in terms of the screen at all times. If you want to save on power, you can still turn this off. The carving will still continue. By the way, prior to starting a print, you can also do a preview just by tapping on this. And basically it will just outline the area where the print will take up on the surface. So you're able to adjust the position on the board accordingly to make sure it's carving in the correct spot that you want it to be. Uh, you can also adjust the laser's positioning up and down if you want to move it slightly on where you want to carve at. Uh, so this works pretty well. One thing I will say though is it would be nice if in the future the aluminum plate that they come with also has a few uh, built-in labels on the edges, grid lines, uh, like a ruler similar to what the app displayed. So you're able to very quickly see uh, you know, at what inch and centimeter you're positioning the object at if it's carved on the sides of the metal plate here. But instead right now what you have to do is kind of position it by hand, uh, or you have to use your own ruler, although you can also use the preview function here to get a better approximation. We are talking about fairly good detail, especially here on this tiny text, OS Reviews. You can see how, despite the tiny little font, it's still pretty much visible on the uh, wood block that we have here. So tiny details are still legible, and overall, better effect than you'll expect, just taking regular images and trying to print them out on this engraver. Didn't really encounter any issues or hiccups during printing, the process was still pretty swift and responsive. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of this Garifi Smart Laser Engraver, again with USB Type-C connection, built-in wireless compatibility with a companion app instead of relying only on a wired connection to a computer, and overall the process is pretty intuitive. The prints are also giving you a very decent quality, I'd say, for DIY projects. Barcodes, logos, uh, cup holders, anything you want to decorate can be done on here. And again, the process is relatively straightforward. So you can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below, a pretty neat DIY gadget in general. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. It's been the Garifi Smart Mini Laser Engraver.